Hey guys! Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite day-to-day -day makeup and it's all vegan and cruelty free. So as the title of this video and my introduction stated, every single one of these products are both vegan and cruelty free. They may not come from a brand that is entirely vegan, although all of them come from cruelty free brands. And there's a chance that some of these, the company itself is cruelty free and or vegan, but is not owned by a company that is either vegan or cruelty free. For me, that's not a deal breaker, but I know for some of you it might be, so definitely do your own research if you have other criteria than just that a particular brand is cruelty free and that the particular product is vegan. So let's get started. I thought it might be fun to go in the order that I would apply them on my face every single day. So I'm going to start with my foundation. And I really love Kat Von D's Locket Foundation. Mine is a bit of a mess and a lot of my makeup's gonna be sorry but that's because I'm real and I use these every day and I don't keep them perfectly pristine all the time so uh, but yeah I love this foundation it can be really heavy coverage or it can be really sheared out so like right now I don't know how well you can see it but you can see all my freckles on my nose on my cheeks and on my forehead because I sheared it out with oil um, or it can also be a heavier look. And I've reviewed this foundation, I will leave that review in the description box. Oh, and some of you will ask, I am the color Light 46. I think it might be a touch light for me now that I have a tan, but yeah. Next up, I like to do my brows because I feel like brows really frame your face and they're the most important thing to me. So I like to use the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette for that. I also have a review of this palette on my blog, so check it out, link in the description. And this palette's really great. It's all neutrals. Yeah, once again, it's a big mess. It's all neutrals here, and I use this shade, which is the third shade from the left. They don't have names. It's just like a light, kind of auburny brown. Um, and I use that for my brows, which is why I put pan in a serious way. And I like to use the other shades to do my day-to-day -day makeup. I like to use the black and the dark brown to do my eyeliner every day with an angled brush. And I like to use the mid-browns to do my eyeshadow when I do do eyeshadow. So yeah, I love the e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette. It's incredible, it's so versatile. It's pretty small and compact, but the colors have actually lasted a long time. I've done my brows every single day for months with that one shade, and there's still some left, which is kind of crazy. Next, I like to do bronzer, and I love to use the Too Faced bronzer in Chocolate Soleil, I believe. I actually forget the exact name of this shade because it's rubbed off on the back, so I'll leave that in the description box. Once again, this is disgustingly messy and I hit pan, but this is the color. It's a nice, light, non-shimmery, very important, non-shimmery, non-shiny, just matte, mid-brown bronzer. I think it looks really natural. I love the undertone. And it kind of smells like chocolate, so awesome. This also has lasted forever. Okay, next, blush. I like to use the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Your Love is King. Kind of a peachy, plummy color. I don't know, I'm wearing it right now. I think it's pretty. Next up, I like to powder my face and I use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder for that. It is just, a powder that looks like that. Ooh. It's really pretty. Sets everything nicely, doesn't dry up my skin, which is great, but it does keep the shine down, which I like because I definitely get a little bit oily in my T-zone area. Banana break. I know what you're gonna say, that banana wasn't ripe, and no it wasn't, but I was really hungry and I don't have any ripe bananas, so deal with it. Okay, I've been trying to wear less foundation and concealer lately. A lot of days I've gone without either, but the concealer I like when I do wear it is the OCC Skin Conceal uh, in Yo. Questionable. Um, and again, it's cracked. I've hit pan so much there's almost nothing left, and it's really messy but I really like it, it's awesome. Woo! 
For mascara, depending on the look I'm going for that day, I alternate between the Pacifica Aquarium Gaze, which is waterproof, and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is not. I have reviews of both of these separately. Again, I will link them below in the description. And this one's a lot more natural looking and is waterproof, as I said. I'm wearing it right now, but I'm also wearing individual lashes, so it's not really the best representation. And then Better Than Sex is a bit heavier, blacker, can clump a little bit more easily, but definitely has more volume and length. Yeah, and those are both awesome. And last, but definitely not least, is lips. A lot of days I just won't wear anything on my lips. I'll just moisturize them and that's it. But when I do want some color, I definitely like sort of a nudie, browny, pink color. I really love Stone by Dose of Colors. It's a bit more of a grayish, but it's really, really nice. And I also really like the Mayron Gloss Tone Lip Gloss in Coral Reef. And I'm wearing just a touch of that right now on top of a new favorite of mine, which I got in a Vegan Cuts beauty box called uh, the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach by Ofra. And this color is gorgeous. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now with just a touch of the Coral Reef lip gloss on top. And I think it's a really beautiful color. It's just slightly brighter and darker than my natural lip color. But I'm considering wearing this combination for my wedding, which brings me to the next point that this is a makeup trial for my wedding. So pretty much everything I have on my face I just talked about. Really the only thing that I'm wearing that isn't something that I just talked about are my individual lashes. And they are by House of Lashes. It's mostly the double lashes and a couple of the single lashes and be nice if they don't look perfect it's literally my first time ever doing individual lashes and it was a bit of a struggle so uh, yeah but this is kind of a trial for how I will um, but this is kind of a trial of how I think I might do my makeup for my wedding so let me know in the comments below what you think be nice please but if something's really off or you have a suggestion or something please let me know I'd love to hear it I'm not a makeup artist I just like doing makeup and I'm doing my own makeup for my wedding so if you happen to be a makeup artist or know more about makeup for weddings let me know oh um the one thing I'm wearing that I didn't talk about is the Ben Nye HD powder setting powder um, and it's the translucent one and that's something I wouldn't wear day to day but just as a setting powder to wear for my wedding to make sure everything stays put. I'm also going to be using the Ben Nye Final Seal Spray, but those aren't things I would nearly use every day, so I didn't mention them in this video. And yeah, oh, also, uh, this is kind of a hair trial. I think for my wedding, I'm going to wear my hair part in the middle and just slightly curled. I'm trying to decide if I should just wear it down like this or if I should kind of do the tuck behind the ears and then pull forward thing, um, which I kind of really like, like this. And I'm also considering doing like a half up, half down sort of thing, um, obviously way nicer than this. Um, and in all cases, I think for the ceremony, I'm going to have a veil and then for the reception, no veil. So if you have thoughts about how I should do my hair or makeup or whatever, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that's the makeup that I reach for every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe for more from me every Monday and Saturday. And check out my blog if you haven't been there already. It's called Plant Based Bride at plantbasedbride.com. I post a new blog post every single Wednesday about veganism, both nutrition and lifestyle, and ethical matters. I post about minimalism and fashion, beauty, fitness, other social justice issues, and all kinds of stuff. So check it out if you haven't already. And follow me on social media. I'm really active on there. And if you like the content that I put out for everybody for free, consider supporting me on Patreon. And that's it. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.